Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. This is episode 59 and today we are starting things off at the driving range once again. Now for those of you who don't know, this is the driving range created by Cubfan. He's created a contest where the Hermits have to try and get the longest drive when it comes to the Ender Pearls. And currently, I'm losing because my connection to the server the other day was so bad that I wasn't able to throw it very far. <laughs> So I'm going to try my best again. With fewer people online, I think we could be able to do something special here. <laughs> Alright, that's not a good start. I accidentally threw an ender pearl, so we're not counting that one. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> so this is my first practice pearl. Yeah, it still seems slow! I'm going as fast as I can! Oh no! <laughs> Why did I call it a practice pearl? <laughs> that was a really good throw! Ah, oh, okay. Right, this next one's gonna be the one then. Okay, here goes. The official one. Nope. Too slow. Nowhere near. <sighs> All of my ones! That was it. Mumbo, again, very pants. <laughs> after all that, after all that, I'm gonna do some more practice throws. Obviously these are my officials, which are just rubbish, <laughs> they're so terrible. <laughs> oh, good heavens. That was awesome. This is so fun to play, by the way. Oh, I kind of, I really want to beat Exumavoid, but I don't think I ever will. But I have just beaten Cub. But none of this matters because those are my three. <laughs> anyway, that's enough fun for today's episode. The fun is stopping now. The rest of this episode is going to be completely fun free because we've got some serious business to attend to. As I mentioned in the previous episode of Hermitcraft, I want to make some form of chorus farm. And I've been doing a little bit of research and it turns out they work at, they work in a completely different way to how I imagined. So the way that a chorus plant works is you can see that it kind of grows like a, a crazy thing. And to replant a chorus plant, you have to have the chorus flower. And that means that they're a bit of a pain in the backside to get because if we just break this, you actually don't get any of the chorus flowers, you only get the chorus fruits. So we have to create a system that actually gives us chorus flowers easily. And this seems to function. This is designed by Exumavoid. So this allows us to get chorus flowers, which means that we can plant more chorus plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to have two farms. I'm going to have one of these, and then I'm going to have one where I'm actually getting the chorus fruits. We're going to have a chorus flower farm and a chorus fruit farm. As you can probably tell, I'm I'm starting to get very confused by this whole thing. <clears throat> and I'm starting to lose my voice, wow. I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do some testing because I want to work out what the kind of optimum design for this system is going to be. So we're going to do some, some design testing for the actual chorus flower farm. This little setup here seems pretty promising. So all of these chorus plants right here have averaged more than one chorus flowers per plant, which means that you always end up with a surplus of chorus flowers from this farm, which means that we'll always be able to replant this farm over here, which means that we'll be able to get plenty of chorus fruits from it. The only thing is, it is so ugly. I don't think I've ever seen an uglier farm. I don't know if I want this in my base. There's no one online right now. I can't help myself. I just gotta give it a go. Oh, I'm in line with Exumavoid. No. What is that thing? <laughs> what is that? Well, I feel like Iskal is definitely responsible for this. I mean, it, this, this, that is Iskal's eyeball right there. What is that? Right, I'm gonna take a look inside. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing else going on. Now, <laughs> That's kind of scary look. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a read. Dear Mumbo. Dear Mumbo, my bestest friend Mumbo, I couldn't help to notice that you have mistyped the word free 
with 1,000 in your new fancy end rod shop. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Anyway, welcome to your mumbo, your mum box, oh, I see, <laughs> and it's trademark too. I'm here to make you a business proposal. Another business proposal? This guy, it, he only ever talks to me when he's got a business proposal to give me. With my end rating skills, great looks, and awesome English accents, and your spoons, I'm sure we can raise an empire. I suggest that we meet up to discuss things in more detail soon. Until then, take care, have a great holiday, and thank you for the free end rods. Oh, P.S. Feel free to break down the mum box and take the resources. Your bestest friend, Iskal. Oh, that's sweet of him. So I guess... Oh, so he's given me a diamond block. Oh, how lovely of him. I just thought I would, uh... Just thought I would go and check up on the end rod store, see how well that's doing. <laughs> I feel like iskal has got to be responsible for this too. So obviously with our with our Endrod store being completely out of stock, we do actually need to build some form of chorus plant farm. And I think that this location here is perfect for it. So this this is just it's just gonna be chilling out in this little area next to the jungle. I quite like the look of the jungle here. And it's going to be big, it's going to be flat, and it's going to involve a little bit of redstone. So let's first off wipe out all of these trees. This is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. It even comes with a satisfying noise as well. I just realized in my testing world and also on the Hermitcraft server, I've been using endstone to plant the chorus plants on. But I have no clue if they actually require endstone to be planted on. Can cross plants be planted on anything, or does it have to be endstone? For some reason, I feel like I feel like it's endstone. You know, watching that back, I feel like Enderman should have a feature where they know if they've walked into your stair. Like they should be like, "Oh, my bad. You know, you you weren't you weren't trying to look at me. It's all good. We're okay here." All right. So this is our grid that we've created in the ground right here. And I was thinking, you know, I was trying to work out how I was going to build this, how I was going to make it look good. And then I started to think to myself, you know what? This actually will look quite cool if we just kind of have it on the island and then surround it in some kind of border wall. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. But of course, we are going to be adding some redstone into the mix here. This is going to be a semi-automatic farm, so it will harvest using water, which means that we have got this gap right here, which will allow us to push water in this direction and in this direction, and then we'll have water flowing in from that side and from that side, and that will push all of the items into hopper lines, which are going to be running through these gaps in the middle right here. So we've got plenty of stuff left to do. Uh, first off, I guess, actually placing in all of the pistons, which are going to be doing the water. I actually can't believe we're having to do this. We are totally fresh out of redstone in the base. We have just a few stacks of redstone ore, so I'm gonna have to use those, but soon we're gonna have to start buying it. Well, I suppose we could go and mine it, but you know, who does that on the Hermitcraft server? Now, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people wondering why I'm using pistons instead of using dispensers, and there's a number of reasons. Number one is that it's actually cheaper for me to use pistons, because A, crafting large quantities of dispensers is just horrible. I absolutely hate doing it. Obviously, you need to craft all of the bows and arrows. They don't stack. It's just, it's no fun. But also, each one of those dispensers has to have a water bucket on the inside. And water buckets use three iron. So we are going to have two, two stacks of pistons in total for this entire build. Which would mean that if I do some quick fire maths, that would be six stacks of iron, I think that would be used in just making water buckets. And I've got to fill up all six stacks, or two stacks of buckets. It's just a pain in the backside, it's no fun. Oh, the other reason, because I didn't actually get onto it, is because dispensers desync. So if you leave the chunks while they're firing, some of them could fire their water buckets, the other ones don't. And then to fix that up is just, it's never good fun either. So instead I'm going to be using pistons, a little bit more reliable and cheaper, it's just, it's better. Ooh. I was trying to work out what blocks I want to build this thing out of, and I actually think acacia wood is the way to go. So, six stacks, hopefully is going to be enough. I mean, that is dirt cheap, isn't it? Maybe seven or eight. You know, now that I've done this entire thing, I kind of like the thought of having the acacia wood, as in full bark blocks <laughs> everywhere. So yeah, I think I'm going to, 
I think I'm going to replace all of it. Right, now that we have all of those swapped out and we have all of the fence posts going around, this is starting to look like quite a cool little structure. So we've got all of the pistons running through the center and also on each side, that's going to be dealing with our water. And then I guess we have to actually power these pistons somehow. Now what I was thinking is, is that we have a redstone torch on top of this block and then we have a line of redstone which is going to be connecting up all of these pistons right here. So that is going to be doing those ones. And then for the ones on these sides, I I actually don't really know what to do. Uh, I could run the redstone up and over. I could do it in the middle. But I can't because there's a line of these in the middle. Ooh. It's obvious enough, we run the redstone down the sides. So I've got all of the redstone going over the top of these pistons, and then it goes down like that, and those are our little entrances there, and you can see that the redstone dips down where the water comes to a stop. So this is where the water is actually going to be stopping. I'm actually going to fill in all of these blocks because we're just going to manually walk along and collect them. There's really no point in having hoppers and chests and everything like that because this is a manual farm. There's no way to fully automate it. We can't leave this running overnight or anything like that. So we're going to be walking through and we're going to be picking up all of the item drops. And three, two, one, activate. Good stuff, and good stuff. Okay, so that's all of the water, and then when we want to take it all away, that is all that. Yeah, this thing is functioning as I would expect it to. Okay, so this side is going to be the side for all of the chorus flowers. So now I've actually got to build up the little systems which are going to stop the chorus flower from growing too tall. Now I played with some ideas for the different types of blocks that I could use for this, but in the end I decided to go for orange stained glass. I think that kind of suits the style of this build the best, but I have been thinking, are these actually gonna grow with these pistons here or are they not? I feel like the chances, the answer is not, actually. Well, regardless, the entire farm is now completed, I think. I mean, that, yeah, it, that, that is it. Done. Is it? <laughs> I, I, honestly, I'm losing track of what needs to be done. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to head off. We're going to pop into the end. We're going to try our best to get a bunch of chorus flowers. And then we can, we can actually start populating this thing. I know I make my own rockets, but I, I can't help but notice the massive efforts that, that Tango has gone to <laughs> to make people aware that there is in fact a sale going on. I am a bit offended by the off-center sale sign here though. However, one diamond for four stack. I mean, that's not even that much of a good deal, is it? But for some reason I'm still paying for it. I think those signs might have worked on me. Hmm. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that was not my fault! None of that was my fault! <laughs> man oh man, I have not panicked that hard in a little while. Anyway, we have made it into the end, so now I have got to pick up all of these things. And these... are really difficult to pick up without looking at Enderman. Is one thing that I've definitely found. Huh, this is actually a bit of a challenge here. Right, so I've managed to get to all of the chorus flowers that we require to actually fill up this farm. Now I need to find my way home. And... Yeah, I don't know where home is, and I only have one set of Elytra. <laughs> I thought I would engage in some end busting, and I've swiftly realized why I don't tend to engage in end busting. I'm, I'm straight out of here. I managed to make it home, and now all of the chorus plants are in place. So this is creating all of the chorus flowers, and it's looking rather good while doing it. And this is creating all of our actual chorus fruits, which we're then going to be using for the end rods. I have no clue what the yield of this farm is going to be. I imagine it's going to be half decent, but I'm going to chill out here for probably about an hour, and I'm going to see how much I can get in that time. I was totally planning on doing a time lapse here, and I did. I recorded a time lapse, but the file got corrupted. And to make things even worse, not doing well on the farm front. So, 
yeah, as you can see, after one hour and I think like one and a half hours actually of constantly kind of going through, taking out these things, then replanting and everything like that, we got about this much chorus fruit. So for one and a half hours, it's not great. 11, 11 stacks, not brilliant. And also the, the reason the bottleneck is, is that these chorus plants, these chorus fruits area, isn't generating oh no the, yeah this is the chorus we need the chorus flat so this is the chorus flower area the chorus flower area isn't generating enough chorus flowers to actually fill up our chorus plant farm which is yeah it's a bit it's a bit disappointing really i'm really disappointed i'm really really disappointed because I love this farm, and I, I was I was one hundred percent I was a hundred percent expecting this to be like an awesome, awesome little farm that was going to absolutely just champ on through, and we were going we to get loads and loads of resources from it, and we haven't. So now I'm now I'm down in the dumps, really. <laughs> After being very upset and crying myself to sleep last night, I thought that when I came back into the studio this morning, I would actually be proactive and get this thing up and running. And I thought it would be good to do this in the form of a third person time lapse. So in this time lapse chat, I want to reflect on this past year, 2018, because 2018 has been an incredible year for me. You know, it's been it's been absolutely incredible. As it's coming to an end, I'm almost sad, but also excited for what 29 can bring because there's so much that's happened in 2018. Obviously, we hit 2 million subscribers and we're well on our way to 3 million subscribers somehow, which is completely bonkers. Uh, we started up Hermitcraft Season 6, which has been one of the most successful seasons of Hermitcraft ever. Everyone seems to really be enjoying it. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm having a blast making all the videos. And of course, with the filming channel side of things, we've also completely stepped up our game over there. And we've been working on mini documentaries all year. Our first mini documentary was in February of 2018, or at least our first kind of fully committed mini documentary was in February of 2018 and then throughout the entire year we've worked on a bunch of them and our most recent one managed to take us to the Philippines uh, to film something with Blackmagic Design, an incredible camera company. I mean it's just been, it's been surreal for me. I managed to get my dream car, the Alpha, we've got the Defender, we've got the Supra. There's all sorts that's been kicking off. Um, and it's all really thanks to you guys, so I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support that you've been showing me. Uh, it means the world to me, it really, really does. Uh, I read through your comments every day, and it's just, it's so nice to see that everyone's enjoying the things that I'm releasing. Um, so thank you all, thank you all. I, I, won't, I won't keep you for too long, let's get back onto the Hermitcraft server. So there we go, there we go, that's a little bit more like it. As you can see, the, the water system has now been put underneath the ground so that we don't have all of the pistons on the top. To be quite frankly honest with you, it actually looks better now. <laughs> it looks a lot better now that we don't have all those pistons and things. This actually is quite a cool looking build. But most importantly, you can see that the ones on these sides can actually grow out their chorus flowers into these areas here. So that means that we should be able to average a far higher amount of chorus flowers compared to usual and also these can grow as well so in the original design there used to be blocks here too which would stop them from growing they are now gone so this thing should be it should be much better and i'm chuffed i'm so glad that we decided to do this because i was feeling so disappointed i thought we totally messed up so i'm going to do one quick harvest and we'll see if we've managed to pull this off but first i have to wait because i don't think these guys are fully grown just yet so Let's chill for a while. And I got 50, which might be enough to fill in the whole thing. Now, I'll be totally honest, I'm not 100% certain. That, whoa, that was a big lag spike. But I'm, I'm not sure, that could be enough to actually replenish all the plants. There is a chance that it's not though. No, no it wasn't, uh, not quite. So we were missing five, which is, yeah, it's much better than we did with the previous design, but it's still not fantastic. We still haven't managed to fill this out. However, I feel like we got very unlucky with the number of flowers that we got from this thing. So I like to think that in the future, we should be able to fill it and in theory, even get a little bit of excess, just a tiny bit of excess so that we can put spare flowers into this chest and then have that as like the overflow. So if we do get times like this where this hasn't produced enough flowers 
to actually fill up this area then we can grab the excess flowers from this chest here. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But either way, this has been successful. We now have ourselves tons upon tons of chorus fruit. So that's enough to make about 80 stacks of end rods. So we're doing okay for the time being. But anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please also that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.